Hey everybody, it is I, the Sleeve Singer, coming to you with my eighth year surgery video update. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, I cannot believe I'm at eight years as of today. Um, this time eight years ago, I was laid in that hospital bed and um, thinking, oh my God, I can't believe I did this, but was so happy that surgery was over because I am not a person who favors getting put to sleep. Um, I, um, I, like I said, I can't believe it's been eight years. Um, it's been a wild year this year though. Um, it really has. Um, I'll start off with the information that you want to know. Um, my highest recorded weight was 296 pounds, I think. Um, weight date of surgery was 277. Um, the last time I reported to you guys, I have no idea where I was, but um, at this point in time, I actually have not been on the scale. If I had to gather, I would probably say I'm probably in the high 180s, low 190s. Um, I go for my annual, which you should do, um, I go for my annual appointment um, in a couple of weeks where I get weighed, but last year I was probably close to like in the mid 190s, so I'm probably around the same um, as far as I know, um, but we'll see in a couple of weeks. Um, I feel great. Um, even through this pandemic, um, I am staying as locked into my habits as I can, if not more, because I felt threatened that those things that keep me accountable uh, would be taken away from me. So um, by working from home, it has provided for me an opportunity to, you know, get up at, you know, 1130 and go take a walk with the dogs, which I wouldn't be able to do if I was in my office building. So it's been a plus and a minus um, with that um, pandemic that's going on. It has definitely closed some doors, um, can't be as social, but then I can also concentrate on what I need to concentrate on um, in this journey. So um, what I wanted to read to you first is um, what I posted on the hospital's um, Facebook wall that um, we have. It's a support group and people post all day long um, people in all parts of the journey either they get ready to get surgery either they've had surgery and they're struggling either they're you know out as far as i am either they're out further um, there's meetup groups um, that are discussed um, not now but you know before um, and um, it's just a good way to stay accountable so every year i post and this year i posted the number eight is very significant in Bibles numerology, eight means new beginning. It denotes a new order or creation and man's true born again event. Eight years ago today, I was given an opportunity to change, to be reborn, to live life and not just exist in it. Not one day since have I regretted that decision. The bumps and bruises and the adjustments I had to make to stay successful have been so worth it. I've learned much about myself and in some cases a sad amount of information about others but all that I've gained will never outweigh all that I've lost pounds included happy eighth surge anniversary to me thank you um, I said thank you to my doctor um, and I told him I'd see him in a few weeks um, for my annual appointment so and I posted a couple of pictures so um, it's good I think to stay um, in the loop of doing the same thing over and over again. I feel as if accountability is the biggest tool you could get and gain and keep um, during this journey. It has definitely helped me. Um, I, uh, I don't know, I try to keep things as simple as I can, but keep the, the, the journey in the forefront. Um, it's just something I've decided I'm not gonna fail at. Um, I think that my failures prior to this is what is keeping me in the journey so far. Um, weight loss surgery, in my opinion, should not be your first attempt at losing weight because it's very mental at this point. It's very much you have to know yourself and how can you know yourself if you've never done something um, with your weight before and, and failed um, and tried again and failed and tried again. Um, I've done all those things and I think at this point in time, that is what is keeping me honest with the ways that I can um, foresee me failing if I engage because I've done it before. 
Um, so that's what's really helpful. Sorry, I keep looking down. I'm feeding a squirrel down there, and I am out of peanuts up here, and he is he is not happy. So he's waiting patiently for me. Um, I think I can can I turn this around and show you? Nope, I can't. Anyway, so um, yeah, so that that really is um, being totally honest with yourself is definitely. Um, something that will keep you in the journey. So don't fool yourself. Don't kid yourself. Um, you know, be ready for the change. Absorb it. If you haven't done surgery yet, if you are like a friend of mine, um, she mentioned me in her video, Elisa Marie, if you are not friends with her friend, her, because she and I are surgery twins. She had surgery eight years ago. Um, at the end of the month, I had it clearly at the beginning of the month because today is August 1st. Um, and she and I are kind of surgery twins and I found out that she is getting a revision done. She's going in again and she's going, um, not as a failure, but as somebody that wants to regain, um, that, that control again, this gives you control, but it doesn't give you the answer. The answer comes from you. Um, it's a big shove in the right direction. Don't get me wrong, but while things are a little bit restrictive, that's when you set up, um, the new you. And that's exactly what I did for that first year. Um, I heard about the honeymoon phase and took advantage of it as much as I could. Whatever that meant, I did. Um, And I think, again, that's another thing that helps me. I stay accountable in all kinds of ways. I have a Garmin. I sign up for virtual races because there aren't any races anymore through this pandemic. Um, I, uh, what else do I do? I, um... I'm pretty much still teaching classes at my gym. Um, We're doing virtual classes, like from the gym. We broadcast through Facebook Live, as well as we have live classes at the gym with a very small um, elite group, because here in Maryland, um, you have to wear a mask um, all the time, except for when you're wearing vigorous vigorous activity. Um, So we're able to remove it then, as long as we can stay our social distance, and we're doing that. But um, just to not work out for us is just not an option. Um, so all of those are ways that, um, you know, to keep yourself on board. Um, going back to Elisa Marie, she's having a revision done. She made a great video um, talking about how she got to that point. And, and she was, sorry, Nyla sees the squirrel now. Um, she's totally honest with herself um, and with us as to how she needed the revision. Um, I think it's awesome. Nyla, Um, I think it's awesome. I think it's going to be helpful to whoever out there. Um, There are a lot of places that are looking for your pockets um, and not looking to give you what you really need in the long term. It is not a quick fix. And some people, some places, I should say, take advantage of people who want that quick fix. There isn't one. You have to be ready to change everything um, or the things that will affect your journey and be okay with it. Um, places that offer you support before, during, and after are the best places, in my opinion. Um, places that make you go through a psyche vow and, and make you go to a nutritionist and make you, um, you know, try to document your meals before and makes you, make, makes you sign documents saying you will come back for your annual appointments. Um, those are all places that have your best, best interest in heart, at heart. And um, in my opinion, will help you uh, stay successful, having a really accredited place. Where I did it is the Center of Excellence um, here in Maryland. And um, they are the best team um, of doctors and nurses and practitioners that I've ever worked with. So um, I heard that the commercial that I did a couple years ago went um, national and a couple of people saw it. Um, thank you for your kind words. Um, but it was a, a very tearful and an emotional day to film that, but um, I did it to help others and help myself. It keeps me accountable as well. Um, so I'm going to end things. It's almost at 10 minutes and I don't want to um, bore you. Um, I am always available for questions or comments below. Put them on down there. Um, I will peek out for them. Um, if you are just getting into the journey, feel free to ask me any question. I am wide open. If you're in the journey, touch base. There's a couple of people I haven't heard from in a while. We'd love to hear from you. Um, other than that, um, oh, uh, one big event that happened to me is I know you guys know I had two dogs. Um, one 
One's name was Toby. Um, well, you can hear Nyla's big mouth. On. I guess you can with these earphones in. She's barking at the squirrel. But I also have a new little friend. His name is Teddy. Um, he's right there. Teddy. Teddy. That's my boy. That's my teddy man. Um, what happened to Toby? Well, um, Toby developed cancer. He got diagnosed in May of last year. Um, and I had to put him down in December of last year. Um, the doctors gave him six months and he six months and right around then he started to show signs and declined very quickly in like three weeks. So um, it was a hard decision, but one we animal lovers have to, to have to make. Um, he was a gentleman. Um, I miss him often and I do have his ashes here and his harness wrapped around his ashes. And um, he sleeps in the room with us every night. Um, he sent me Mr. Teddy. I call him Teddy because um, that was not his name, but T to give homage to Toby. Um, and he looks like a teddy bear hamster to me. So that's how I got his name. Um, certainly isn't replacing my boy, um, but uh, I was struggling with finding another dog because Nyla was really mourning. Um, she was just really glued to me, was crying a lot at night um, in her sleep. And so I knew that she was mourning having a second friend. So about four weeks to the day, actually, that I put him down, we got Mr. Teddy um, for a trial basis. They clicked and bonded. I know Toby sent him to me um, to take care of his family. And uh, we love him just the same. So um, if you believe in all that kind of stuff, if not, you know, the last minute of this video is going to bore you. <laughs> um, anyway, let me end it um, with... Um, my usual saying, weight loss surgery is not, is not the short answer to a bigger problem. Find your bigger problem, work with your tool, and it'll work with you. I want everyone to stay safe through this pandemic. Um, send me any questions you may have um, and stay safe, stay on the journey, and stay connected and stay healthy. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, maybe I can try to make a video more than just once a year um, when I have something worth talking about. Thanks for watching, and um, if you're still with me, thanks for watching. See ya.